basically I'm going to be showing you how to download WinRAR for free again. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is figure out what operating system you have. Um, I'm running a 64-bit, and uh, most of the newer Windows 8 computers are also running a 64-bit computer, um, operating system computer. Um, to figure that out, you're going to want to go down here into your Start menu, whether that be Windows 8 or Windows 7. Windows 8, you right-click to get up the Start option. And you go up to where it says System, and you click on the System button. Now, that'll bring up this page right here where it says System. And like I said, if you're Windows 7, I'm not exactly sure. It should be the same step. Um, anyway, you'll get to this screen on the system um, system settings page, and you want to go down here to where it says system type. Now, it's going to say 64-bit operating system, um, and uh, that's how you're going to figure out what kind of uh, the computer yours is. It'll either say 32 or 64. And um, so, yeah, that's really how you're going to figure that out. So we can go ahead and drop that down. Now you're going to go ahead and click the link in the description I put down there for you. And that's going to bring you up directly to the WinRAR download page. Now it'll bring you up, what the crap? Yep, it'll bring you to this page right here. Um, now you can choose all of your different languages and stuff. And it's actually cool because you can select search for your download. So you can type in the language, um, the version, whether you're running like a um, 4.0 two or five whatever but you want to do the newest one I mean that's stupid if you don't do the newest one um, down here we got like the platforms you're running on you can download this from Mac to and Linux and whatever else you're running um, and then 32 64 bit now um, basically this is just a quick option for you um, if you are running a 32 bit computer just go ahead and click here at this WinRAR uh, 5.01 32 bit and uh, if you're running 64 bit just go ahead and uh, click here now I found that when I didn't click here and I was just trying to search it for my own, I ended up getting the 64-bit, but it was in a weird language and I couldn't even, it wasn't even a letter language, it was like drawling, so maybe like Chinese or Japanese or something like that. So definitely just just follow this, don't look for the 64-bit because this is the right 64-bit version. So if you go ahead and click on this link right here, it's going to bring you to this page. Um, another opportunity for you to have to buy WinRAR. Uh, let me just go ahead and give this little spiel, and so it saves my comment section from this. WinRAR is free. They make you buy it because it's a scam. They say you get all this cool full RAR and zip support, all this stuff. You don't need none of that because I've had WinRAR for like four or five years, haven't had a single problem with it. It's ran smooth. There's no need to upgrade in any kind of way. They say you get a 40-day trial. That's not true either. Um, you'll get a little window that pops up when you open up WinRAR, WinRAR sometimes that say your trial's expired, you need to update. Um, nothing happens. You don't have to do anything. Like I said, run it for four or five years. The, the pop-up window will appear, and um, you still have it free. And um, if, you, if you don't trust that, just wait 40 days, and then if it doesn't work after the 40-day trial, just go ahead and leave that in the comment section. But I know it does, so if you do, you're a liar. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and finish this download. If you're 64-bit, continue down here by clicking the download WinRAR option. And um, when you click that, it's going to bring you to this page right here. It's going to say special offer, email, click your email in here. Don't do that either. That's also a way for them to spam your email account. And you don't want that either. So um, then after about five seconds, we'll get this little box down here of your Chrome. Uh, downloading um, WinRAR, it'll already start downloading. If you're Internet Explorer or Firefox, it'll say like pop up and it'll, it'll do a little pop up at the bottom saying, Do you want to download this and stuff like that? Yeah, go ahead and click it. That pop up's safe. Um, I prefer Chrome as it is. So now, once you have it downloaded, you just want to go ahead and click on it if you're Chrome or just open up the download. Um, also, if you're Internet, it should say ask you to save it somewhere. You can run it. But I like to save all my files to the desktop so I know afterwards if I don't need them, I can just delete them and they don't get lost somewhere. So if you are like Internet or Explorer or Firefox and it says like run or save, um, usually run it. But if you want to save it, that's okay. All right, so once you open it up, this little file here should pop up here, the user account control. Now, 
do you want to make the following program to make do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer um, yes it's coming verified publisher winrar um, program name winrar 64 or i think it should be 32 if if that's not it um, file origin hard drive on this computer yes you can trust this this is directly from the website and everything so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, click yes and it should start the download. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these files down because these pages down, we don't need those. Okay, so once you clicked on that link down there or opened up the file that you downloaded by the run button or opening, if you saved it on your desktop, opening it up, it'll bring you to this page. And this is basically the installer page. Um, you can read all that. Um, basically, there's really not much licensing agreement you can do here. I don't understand what it would be. Um, don't read it just click install and um, it's going to start installing and it doesn't take too long to install install actually it's pretty quick we'll just go ahead and wait for that to uh, hurry up and install all right then it should say like winrar setup you can add it to your desktop i've never needed to add it to my desktop you can add it to your start menu you don't need to do that basically i just keep everything how it is so just go ahead and click OK. And all this stuff up here you can change later. Um, the big ones you're going to want to use is the zip and the RAR folder thing. OK, and then it should say, thank you for using WinRAR. So you're going to go ahead and click Done. OK, so let's do a little test to show that this works and it continues to work. Um, and it won't stop. So if I go ahead and um, just click on this, or right click on it really, um, you see these little books here? That's WinRAR's logo. So if you don't understand, I mean that that means you got WinRAR on your computer and it's installed um, and it's working. So if I click Send to, I can click Compress Zip Folder, and rather it's sending into that little little um, thing right here, whatever I guess default that would be, it sends it straight into a WinRAR kind of format, which is really nice, and it saves everything in here. So um, you see up here it says WinRAR. That means you that means you got it. So don't worry, really. If you <laughs> what am I trying to say? Um, you got WinRAR. Don't freak out about it. Trial will never end. Um, as much as you'll get ads for it saying, oh, come on, update. I, like I said, had it four or five years. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. That's how to download and install WinRAR, WinRAR for absolutely free. Be sure to subscribe and check us out next week when we show you how to turn yourself into a dragon.